You are watching My South Florida Today. Today's episode is brought to you by Diaz Interactive, South Florida's number one marketing company. We visited the first annual Pines Food and Wine Fest hosted by Florida Taste Tour at the Pembroke Lakes Mall. With the smell of food in the air and wine pouring, we thought it was a good time to meet a few of the wonderful local businesses who attended. Can you tell us a little bit about Sports Grill? Well, Sports Grill, uh, we started off in Miami. We've been around for going on 27 years. Um, family owned, operated, you know, very small business. Um, we're all about getting the community involved and, you know, reaching out. So we just branched out into Pembroke Pines about eight months ago. So we're, you know, kind of promoting our new store, letting people know um, on Pines Boulevard and 180th. Awesome. Can you tell us a little bit about your signature dish? Our signature dish is our special grilled wings. It's what we're known for. It's our own secret house sauce. Um, grilled, nice, uh, I kind of don't know what else to say other than that without giving too much away. But, um, yeah, it's our signature dish and, you know, with our burgers and ribs, you can get that dip special grill too. So and what kind of flavored wings do you guys have? We have our special grill, we have teriyaki, barbecue, buffalo, garlic, um, we can do them plain. We have Miami Heat, which is our really, really, really hot, and we have Dale, which is um, a mixture of a few sauces as well. So if they wanted to find out your location, get you guys on social media, where would they find you? You could uh, visit us at sportsgrillmiami.com. Um, there's links to our Twitter account, Facebook. All of our locations and their addresses are there on the website as well. We open every day at 11, and we close at midnight. Our kitchen closes at 12. Um, Monday we do 65 cent wings, Tuesday is free beer for anyone who's a county employee, Wednesdays we do kids eat free all day and dollar beers, dollar drafts, um, and we have happy hour every day from 3 to 7. Um, and then for game days and such we do picture specials and things like that, especially when the Dolphins are playing or UM's playing, so awesome. we have a lot of deals. Awesome, well thank you so much, appreciate it. You're very welcome, my pleasure. So Jennifer, can you tell us a little bit about your business? Yes, of course. Um, it's base of natural essential oils, plant extracts, and essences with medicinal and therapeutic properties. So what we do is that we use them in different products and different things so we can actually help people's behaviors or ease a headache or give you energy or relax you before going to sleep. So it's a basic concept of using um, holistic and more like medicinal therapeutic um, products that actually are different and better than using synthetics or chemicals that are out there. Is this a, a local company? Where? How did you begin? Um, yes, I definitely, it's a local company. Um, I Once I discovered the essential oils and the beneficial properties of them, I was like, I need to do something with it. So I developed this brand called Four Elementum, which the original name is called Quattro Elementum in Latin, um, Four Elements. So um, I developed it, I created it, and I, it basic concept that it's something that people can resemble and like be um, known with so yeah I started to create these products went to school we've been local already open for three years um, but this year has been more when we're trying to take it out to the community and for people to know about it so um, that's pretty much how it is it's a local company and yes it's made by me and all these products and all this hard work <laughs> what's your hottest seller my hottest seller is this one my end muscle ache lotion because it's really good for anything that's um, um, joint pain, muscle pain, it also arthritis, people with like back aches, cramps, they use it. So it's a really cool soothing lotion. It sedates the pain, it reduces the inflammation, and once you apply it, it feels nice, minty, icy hot. So it's a really cool. Yeah, it's, it's a badass cream, yeah. Now, where can people find you? We have our website, which is forelementum.com. We also have um, other online stores like Etsy, um, suit to open eBay, too, as well. And um, we do have Facebook, Instagram, and we are locally in different markets and on different farmers' markets as well. But I always look updates on our website. That's where we have our own information, where we're located. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you for everything. I'm here with Pascal, local artist. Can you tell me a little bit about your art and what you're doing here? Hey guys, first of all, thank you for coming here. Uh, the style is uh, it's called First Perspective. If you walk with me, I'll show you. It's basically, we take pictures of little figurines and make them look like real people. All of these, they like, uh, the biggest one is five inches tall. Those are really small, but the way they come out, they basically come out like real people. Awesome. So what, ca what was your inspiration for photographing these uh, figurines and making them look life-size? Honestly, because I try to paint it, I can't. <laughs> I really can't, and I, I, I'm really uh, a big fan of uh, realisms, and I, I can't, I can't. I can't even write well. 
<laughs> so, yeah, so I was like, okay, let me grab the camera. I started shooting people. But you know, people, they get lazy. They was like, oh, I'm tired. I don't want to show up. But those little figurines, you know, funny enough, they don't talk back. <laughs> yeah, so that's, what, that's how I started it. That's awesome. What, what's your favorite piece out of, out of the six pieces here? Which one is your favorite? Oh, this, this, to be honest with you. This is the native warrior. It's basically coming back from war and, and it lost. If you look closely, the spear, yeah, yeah you see the, it, it lost the point of the spear. So basically, it's, yeah, it's defeated. Yeah. So tell, uh, tell me, where can people find your art? Do you have a gallery, a website? How can they find you? Okay, I have a gallery in Aventura. The address is 2289 Northeast 174 Terrace. And I'm also on Instagram under Mawa1804. And, and Facebook, basically my name, Pascal Pierre Lewis. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Pascal. It was great meeting you. Thank you guys for coming. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Okay, we're here with Lewis at the Pines Food and Wine Festival. Lewis, tell us a little about yourself. Uh, my name is Lewis, obviously. Uh, I come from the Gables, here with a few friends. Just uh, out here to enjoy our day and uh, spread the love. Awesome. What's your favorite thing about living in South Florida? Oh man, the sun, the women, everything. <laughs> the, everything. It's a beautiful place to live. It's a little crazy, just like everybody on this table. What's your favorite thing about South Florida? Oh, the diversity of people. It's incredible. It's amazing. You learn a lot of cultures. You learn, you, you learn from a lot of people. You meet a lot of, you know, different things. <laughs> awesome. So being Colombian, I have to ask you, what's your favorite Colombian restaurant here in South Florida? But you can go to Tucandela, <laughs> which is a place you can go and dance and drink and have fun. Tucandela is definitely a place. Or Baru, also. Thank you for watching. Subscribe now and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Visit us at MySouthFloridaToday.com. Want to be featured? Email us to submit your business, service, or talent to be featured on an upcoming episode.